CCTV Camera World is proud to provide support for products purchased from our website. If you purchased your product from another vendor, please contact the vendor you purchased from for further assistance. In this video, we have a router on the left and one of our NVRs on the right. For this video, we're going to demonstrate how to properly plug them in. On the NVR, you have one port specifically designated as the LAN port. It is separate from your video ports. And on the left, on your router, you have the internet port already plugged in, as we show with the blue cable. And now we're going to show you how to connect them to the LAN ports. Take your wire, like so. Plug one in into your NVR, and the other one into your router. You have successfully connected your recorder to your router. In this video, we're going to show you how to set your DVR so that it can work with your network. Log into the DVR first. It may ask you for your graphical password. You can draw it so. If your graphical password you can't, it doesn't work the backward C, you can locate the label on top of your DVR to find out what the graphical password is for your unit. Once you're in here, you're going to go into network on the bottom row and go to TCP IP and locate the Ethernet port and click on edit. Click on DHCP for it to acquire automatically an IP address from your router. Once it does that, then hit apply and OK to make sure your DVR has now acquired an IP address hit network and when you go back in here the IP address will be displayed on the top here and on the bottom it says my IP address that I got from the router the gateway the MAC address of the network port of the DVR and the subnet mask and it says mode DHCP it has successfully applied let's say you follow the instructions that we just gave you and when you go back to view what the network IP address is, and you get zero zeros. Let's try that now. I think so. Um, we do have a couple and of hit apply and OK. Forward, so that means and then we go back into the main menu. Long, uh, we go to network and we see zero uh, zeros kind of here and here. here. That means your DVR is not properly connected to your router. It is either not connected to your router or you're using a cable that is not working. So to determine whether your NVR is in fact connected to a working cable, you can look at the lights on the back of the NVR to determine if the lights are blinking or not. There are two lights on the back of the network port of the NVR's LAN port as shown in the picture here they need to be blinking to show that NVR is actually connected to a network. If they're not blinking, that means your cable is bad. Change that cable and make sure they are blinking and connected directly to the router. So again, a working connection will give you an IP address. So now, after you have connected your recorder to the internet using a router or switch, and you have enabled DHCP, now and only then can you proceed to this step right click and go to main menu. If you're not already logged in, log in with our default password we set on the recorder. This is the default graphical password. If you have an older recorder, you may not have that. You may need to enter your username and password. You should know that by now since you've completed the step before, which is for DHCP. Now that you're here in the main menu, go to network on the third row. Please do not go here. Go to the one on the third row. Once you're at this screen, you want to go to P2P. On some older firmwares, it may say Easy 4 IP. They're the same thing. You want to click on P2P or Easy 4 IP. Now you'll get here and it'll say Not Connected or you, this won't be checked. If it's already checked and it says Online, simply take a picture of this section here on the right hand side where my cursor is going and I'm going to have it highlighted in red in a circle. I want a picture of this to be able to help you out. Our techs need this to be able to log in remotely and see your settings if you'd like us to. If you don't have it enabled already, this is how you do that. Now again,
For this to work, you need to have DHCP enabled and your recorder connected to the network. Click Enable. Hit Apply and Save. It makes you exit out of that screen. Go back to Network. It brings you back and after a second or so it'll say Connect Success. That means the DVR or NVR is now talking through the internet. And we can log in if you provide us this serial number on the right hand side. Please take a picture of this section and email back to us. Thank you. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.